entire gaming setup costs less than $300. So the main component powering our setup is this Xbox Series S. And you're probably wondering, why am I getting an Xbox instead of a PC? Well, even in 2024, this Xbox is still better than most PCs. And it's because the price to performance is just so good. So this Xbox retails for around $300. But definitely there's a lot of deals going on where I've seen this Xbox drop around to $200, which is what I picked it up for. And this Xbox runs 120 FPS with 1440p. So just for comparison, this PC was around $300 and is not as good as the Xbox in its performance, running around only 60 FPS or so. Now to take advantage of the Xbox 120 FPS, I got this 165 Hertz monitor for only $100. So definitely a real Really, really cheap monitor it doesn't run like 1440 or 4k but 1080 will do and yeah this is a super thin monitor it's nothing super cheap and it makes perfect for this setup and next up this is the gaming keyboard that i got now with such a tight budget i can't really get too expensive peripherals but this 30 dollars 60 percent keyboard will do the design on this keyboard looks really really nice it's nothing too cheap as well this is how the switches sound Not bad, definitely really, really smooth. It does have red switches. It also comes with a keycap remover and two extra red switches. So I'm pretty sure this keyboard is hot swappable. But yeah, this design looks really, really nice for the keyboard. It just has a black, white, and a little bit of like maroon red on the keycaps. I'd say the only bad thing about this keyboard is definitely the build material and how light it is. But for $30, this is a fully plastic build. It's really, really light. There's like no weight to it whatsoever. Next up, I have this mouse over here, which costs only $10. But this is a really, really good mouse. The switches are really fast. You guys can hear it's pretty responsive as well. It has two side buttons, but for only $10, this is a honeycomb design and it's really, really lightweight. I think this is like round 64 grams or so so around the same as like the viper mini and the glide on this mouse is also really really good now last up this is the mouse pad i've chosen for this setup it is just like your regular amazon mouse pad but i spice things up a little bit with a cool design now to show you guys the glide with this mouse pad and the mouse it's pretty decent this mouse pad nothing too special it's just like your normal mouse pad it is pretty big so we can go ahead and fit the keyboard and the mouse and there is enough mouse space all right so i have everything plugged in and as you guys can see this xbox is getting 120 fps and to actually turn on the 120 fps mode you guys will need to go into the xbox's settings go into the tv and display options and below that you guys will see refresh rate its default is at 60 you guys want to select 120 and then if you have a 4k monitor you can also change the resolution to 4k but this monitor is only 1080p so i'm gonna go ahead and select that but yeah first thing you guys will notice when you play keyboard and mouse on console is definitely the really bad delay i say that's the only downside of choosing a console over a pc it's not too bad but it's definitely really noticeable i mean i could still free build pretty decently Crack. This guy's one shot. Dead. Crack. Yo, I can't edit, bro. This delay is crazy. Dead. The delay is actually kind of worse in game. It's actually low key pretty hard to edit now. Also, this keyboard kind of feels like a membrane keyboard now. I think it might be the stabilizers. It's kind of loose. It's either that or, or I'm more used to an expensive keyboard that this budget keyboard just feels super, super cheap. But overall, this keyboard is still pretty good, but it could like get the job done and it has pretty good aesthetics for it. Wait, there's an actual kid. <laughs> GG, let's go. Also, the console's graphic is kind of blurry. I'm not sure why, but like farther distances, it's kind of harder to see your opponents. Like just as you guys saw, I didn't know if that was a guy or not. Since it's so small and it's so blurry. Wait, who's shooting me, bro? Is this guy real? No way I'm about to die to a bot, bro. GG's. 
This mouse is also pretty light, but once again, it's heavier than my main mouse. So I still got to get used to that, but it is a honeycomb mouse. So it is really, really light. And there's nothing else much bad about this mouse. The response time is pretty good. Uh, the RGB is honestly my favorite part is really, really bright for a liter for literally a $10 mouse. Low key a steel. Is that a guy? Is that a guy or not? Yeah, that's a guy. That's a guy. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Yo, this man went flying. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. There's another one. This guy's crazy. Wait, 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 wait. This guy actually... This guy's actually crazy. 26. Full box. Nope, no full box. Hit it? No? 53? Oh my god, man, stop running. Yo, it's so hard to edit, it's crazy. Crack? First try? Dead? Oh my god! That was actually really clean, what the heck. With the delay and everything, it was really, really hard to edit. Let me know if you guys want me to find a higher resolution monitor. That's pretty cheap as well. Because like I said, this Xbox can go to 1440 and I'm using 1080p right now. 40? Yo, it's so hard to edit. Jeez. Crack. Oh my God, you're the best. Crack. Cracked again. I... Oh my God, bro. I can't see. These console graphics are actually like a pain, bro. There's another guy right here. I can't, I can't edit. 27. This guy's one shot. 360. To the don't. 20. Okay. Okay, game. All right, now I gotta find white heels, bro. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This keyboard is actually low-key pretty loud. I'm not even gonna lie. It's, it oh my God, man. No respect, man. Respect me, heel. Crack. Full box, nope, not full box, full box. Oh my, oh my God. I don't even think this is fair no more. Also, this Xbox compared to like a PC that you would get for $300 or like the same price as the Xbox, it's not gonna get you a stable 120 FPS, like guarantee, there's no way. That's why this Xbox is just such a good budget performance because you're literally running a stable 120 FPS. You don't gotta worry about that thing dropping to 60 or even like 30 FPS like an O-Gen console would. I might actually have 2020 vision, wow. Got it. Oh, he's over here. Seventy-three. Yo, yo, whoa, 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 chill, 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 chill. Yo, it's so hard to aim with this delay. It's crazy. Something I do regret not doing was getting a bigger mouse pad because the mouse space is definitely really, really tight. And this is the last guy. Okay. Jeez, this delay is actually like crazy. This delay is really weird, bro. I, I can't hit a shot to save my life, oh boss. And GG, let's go. Let's go. 11 kills on console. Pretty easy.